A big problem that a lot of technicians have is that their eyeballs are not calibrated to small things. Electrical problems are never giant. They're never huge. They're never monstrous. They don't involve shrapnel. They don't involve things blowing up and exploding. Okay, that's a final drive or a transmission, but not a diode. Okay, so when we're looking for things that have failed electrically, we're looking for very, very small things. So you have to calibrate your eyeball for really tiny stuff. For example, it only takes a thousandth of an inch of corrosion to completely shut down a bus. An entire bus can simply stop on the side of the street full of passengers because of a thousandth of an inch of corrosion on a pin in the ECM. So when you're out looking for faults, the worst thing you can do is to go past what appears to be nothing because the nothing is everything. The corrosion that occurs on a cable is a thousandth of an inch thick. Anything that's green, anything that's green at all, any green, anything that's green is not to be cleaned you replace it. You don't clean green, you replace it. So the problems of corrosion will almost always occur at the end of the wire because that's where the dissimilar metal corrosion occurs because you've got copper wire and not copper terminals. This is where the greatest amount of environmental exposure is. This is where the greatest amount of mechanic damage is. This is where the greatest amount of corrosion will occur simply because of the way it is. And when it does occur, it's going to be really, really small. So the last thing you should do is go out looking for a big bus to have a big electrical problem. I promise you it's going to be incredibly small.